this is another way in english try to understand this with the help of an example okay okay so um, so let's assume that there are let's try to understand uh, first uh, the problem with tcp reno right so talking about the problem with tcp reno right and yes we know the problem is uh, is multiple segment losses okay let's try to understand this with the help of an example let's assume that uh, i have a machine a and there is another machine b and it's the timeline increasing downwards so if i if a packet segment is transmitted to machine a say uh, segment number 1 this is the time by the way increasing downwards so segment 1 was transmitted but segment 1 has lost uh, then we transmit segment number 2 then we transmit another segment say segment number 3 and then we transmit another segment say segment number 4 so what uh, what this machine will do is this machine uh, b will uh, will generate triple duplicate acknowledgement it's so, okay fine uh, say so, okay upon receiving this to it will say uh, i'm looking for segment number 1 send me segment number 1 send me segment number 1 so these are you know triple duplicate acknowledgements so upon receiving these uh, triple duplicate acknowledgements what will happen yes you're right uh, we this will enter into fast retransmit mode not only not only in fast retransmit but it will also uh, start fast recovery okay so what it what it will do is in tcp reno uh, in fast uh, retransmit what it will uh, do is that uh, it will immediately upon receiving these three duplicate acknowledgments it will immediately transmit a uh, segment number 1 and it will not wait for the expiry of the rto so here we have a retransmission timeout right the machine is waiting you know to expire in order to automatically restart or resend this segment number 1 so without waiting for this rto to expire the sender will immediately you know start uh, this segment number 1 okay uh, so so this was an improvement proposed by uh, tcp reno right uh, acceptable but let's assume another scenario where we have multiple segment losses so we have a machine a and then we have a machine b and the uh, this is the timeline increasing downwards and it transmits segment number 1 segment number 1 has lost then it transmits segment number 2 received segment number 3 lost segment number 4 received segment number 5 uh, received and let's assume segment number 6 lost so this is a case where we have multiple segment losses right where we are not uh, losing single uh, uh, segment multiple segment number 1 has lost segment number 3 has lost segment number 6 has lost so what tcp reno will do in this case tcp reno okay so upon receiving this uh, you know this segment number 2 uh, it will generate an acknowledgement uh, a duplicate acknowledgement for segment number 1 duplicate acknowledgement for segment number 1 duplicate acknowledgement for segment number 
on how many number of duplicate acknowledgements? Yes, uh, triple duplicate acknowledgements. And immediately upon this, uh, receiving the, this triple duplicate acknowledgement, the sender will retransmit segment number one. Okay, and obviously by retransmitting in segment number one, it enters into uh, it, it enters into uh, it, it, it enters into fast recovery mode. But as soon as it receives um, an acknowledgement for the next segment, which is what? Yes, you're right. Upon receiving it, it will send acknowledgement uh, for segment number three means what that it has received segment number two which is what which is the new data that has been acknowledged so this this is the new segment acknowledged immediately upon receiving the acknowledgement three the tcp runner will exit this uh, uh, this fast recovery mode right uh, and that's why it fails um, in addressing the multiple segment losses, and this is happening because of partial acknowledgement. Partial acknowledgement. So this acknowledgement here, three is called partial acknowledgement. Why? Because we are not. It is not taking care of all the other, uh, you know, all the other uh, segment lost segments here. Okay, for example, segment number three, segment number six. And the solution to multiple segment losses uh, is proposed by, uh, uh, is proposed in uh, TCP. A new RENA. And um, so, so, so the solution is very simple. Uh, the TCP new RENA. Uh, TCP new runner uh, implements uh, it implements first retransmit phase whereby A non duplicate tag non duplicate tag takes TCP out of first recovery. Um, only, only if, uh, only if the, if the, if the non, non duplicate act is greater than equal to The sequence number sent out before uh, before detecting or before detection of loss. Very simple. So it's a solution is very simple, right? So it avoids the um, uh, you know, partial acknowledgement. So anything that is, uh, so if if a non uh, if a non duplicate act uh, is less than the sequence number, or let's say we call it senders i. Is called 
a partial acknowledgement. Let's try to understand uh, this. Uh, the the implementation. We will only exit this fast retransmission if we receive uh, if we receive uh, if we receive an acknowledgement that is uh, greater than the last uh, sequence number that was that was transmitted before receiving this duplicate acknowledgement. Right. So what was the last sequence number in this case? Yes, seven or six, right? So it's non-duplicate acknowledgement. It's only if I receive an acknowledgement, say in this case, uh, six, then I'll exit in this, or from this fast recovery mode. So anything, anything uh, less than six is partial acknowledgement. Okay, for example, in the first case, in the case of TCP Reno, upon receiving this, uh, you know, two TCP Reno uh, uh, aborted uh, this uh, fast recovery mode. Why? Because two is less than six, and this is what partial acknowledgement. So what TCP Reno does is that it implements fast retransmit phase and only exit. Um, it only exits. Um, a fast recovery mode if the non-duplicate acknowledgement is greater than uh, the sequence number, uh, you know, uh, sent out before experiencing a loss. Okay, so this is known as TCP Renault. 